Hello, hello, and welcome to Rory's Gameworks, where we play some games and see if they work. Today we're back at Horizon Forbidden West. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to this madness, and comment down below to feed those algorithm gods. And without further ado, let's get back to the adventure. And we move on into greater and more magnificent things than we've ever seen before. <laughs> Probably, I don't know. I uh, put on my map whatever this mysterious unknown location is. Also, I found that uh, campfire right there and I quick saved. Just in case I lost any progress before I last left you on the last video there. Don't you know. Alright. So it's not that far away. Ooh, I wonder if it's underneath. Gather Midnight Blossom. Unknown. It's three away. It has to be inside the water. Hello, Lotus Bloom of some sort. River Bloom. I wonder if you got blue dye. Obtained one fiber zest. Interesting. Don't know where I got that from. And what do we have here? Medicinal water weed. Definitely something down here. So let's check out this unknown location that I may drown in. Oh boy. Oh boy. No, we're cool. We're cool. It's fine. I need more breath. <laughs> I either need like a rebreather or somehow I can use skills to upgrade my breath or like some kind of armor that'll do that. That would be nice. There's another chest down there, too. See, I'm good on my breath sometimes, but I just get... I get overly cautious. And I'm just like, yep, I'm gonna die in two seconds if I don't get out of here. And it's, you know, probably good to be cautious. Likely, if I run out of breath, it starts taking down my health slowly as well, so I have, you know, that secondary... bar. Just in cases. I'm trying to figure out if I just do the click and it sends out that wave, if that finds things nearby. So I can bring up the echo itself. Green shine sliver. See, it doesn't bring up that. Just weird. I don't. I don't get the pulse right now. The the focus pulse. At the time being, I don't understand its purpose. I'm sure it will show itself to me at some point. But right now, it's keeping me in the dark. Much like this cave. Let's wiggle our way over here and see what's going on. Better shake off this wet. Yeah, shake it off. And what do we have here is glowing green rock? Green shine sliver. Alright, so... That rock I must have seen when I took that elevator down... Must... Okay, you found a piece of green shine, a rare and valuable resource. Hidden all over the world, green shine can be used for upgrading certain weapons, outfits, trading, and specific merchants. Dope. So instead of a sliver, I must have found, like... When I was taking the elevator, I must have found a big amount of it. Not a sliver, like a chunk. A hunk. A, a dope amount. Please don't die. <laughs> I need you. Let's get another check around before we get deeper into the back of this cave. Which I will now call Death Cave Number One. Valuable chest, valuable box. Okay. We got all sorts of purpley in ya. And another. Good. Wonder if that's the end of this cave. Just had just had a few things in there. Okay. 
exit. Yeah, I guess so. Nifty. Well, that was a nifty little uh, spontaneous exploration we did just then. That's that's ooh, that's what I like about that. That's one of the things you have to enjoy about gaming sometimes is the spontaneity. I know to a certain degree, you know, like Skyrim really has that. You have random encounters out on the roads. And that to me is just a fun aspect, you know? It, it means you paid attention to what you want to achieve in your game when you're making it. So kudos to the developers on that. What's going on here? Ah. Yes. I've been there before. So we got another unknown over here. Yeah. Man, we're just into the unknown. Into the unknown. Did you see how on pitch I was? I'm a pretty great singer. <laughs> now, if I get more rocks, will those? I wonder if there's anything interesting at the top. I hope so. All right. I wonder if there are any. Uh... If I get too many rocks. Will those start going to my stash? Because that would be interesting. I bet if I go to a merchant, I'm gonna find... Sunken Cavern? Yes, I did that. If I go to a merchant, I'm, I'm probably gonna find... Uh, like, maps that I can buy, and I'm like going to these areas that I would require the map for. Did miss some die just there. Pale bloom. <laughs> All right, so I guess that's white die. Now what do we have here? Azure bloom. You're so helpful, Focus, with all my climbing. You're like a coach. I don't really don't need coaching, but do need help getting from place to place sometimes. And don't we all? Oh boy. Okay. I'm gonna drop down here. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, use that upper body strength, Aloy. You're amazing. Verdant blue. Is that green? Carja Watchtower. I don't know what's inside. Am I here to find more uh, of these interesting? Yeah, like we uh, we just came <laughs> we just came away from a uh, one of these things. I would like you to get up, Aloy, if that's at all possible. There you go. <laughs> She's like, nah. I'd rather stay down here. <laughs> Why that certainly wasn't the button I was looking to push. I'm glad I survived. Uh, I wonder if the pulse is good for uh, that sort of thing. Finding a way up and whatnot. Alright, I just gotta figure out how to get over. Ah, right here. Well, I need to get this pale bloom. Ah, okay. So that's that's the use of my pulse right now, as far as I can tell. Finding places I can climb. Doesn't seem to, you know, show off where chests are. You know, if I quick flash near something, it's not going to highlight a chest. Possibly animals. Maybe like squirrels and boars. I'll have to see if that's the case. Yes, gave me all the things. I'm gonna be so farmed up when I get to this new area. I think it'll be funny. Okay, that's helpful. I take it back, Pulse. You're helpful. Okay, almost there. I mean, I'd say we are there. But that's just me. What do I know? Shh, 
ャー。So fast. You can do it, Aloy. By a certain extent, me. Made it. And there's another one of those devices. Yeah. Let's pick this bad boy up. Lens of midday. Guess I'll figure out what to do with it later. Yeah. <laughs> For the time being, uh. I see the entire what? up here. Oh, uh, that's cool. I, I wonder if that's uh. This watchtower. Uh, the city there. Uh, what's it called? Chain scrape. <laughs> There's like a thing uh, up there <laughs> that shows the name of the current mission I'm on and me having to go to chain scrape. Repel! Aha! That one slightly less necessary. Still fun. Yay! <laughs> Right into the greeting hands of some machines. I need to stop messing with the camera while that's happening. Alright, I didn't want to pick that up. <laughs> You're right. You're right, game. It would have been silly for me to try and do that. I'll, I won't be that foolish anymore. Drop to the ledge? Or just, yep, just drop down here. Okay. Drew said I could get my bow upgraded in there. Hell yeah. I'd be able to tinker with my other gear too. Your boy likes to tinker. Safe enough as any other spot. I'm gonna check this out right here first before getting on my face into chain scrape. It's a dead machine. It must be a bristleback. Maybe Aaron took it down? And soaked with acid. Did the bristlebacks do this? I don't like that the bristlebacks have acid. I mean, to be fair, I don't like anything that has acid unless it's me. <laughs> this is another another tower. So I wonder if this is the evening one. All right, let me check to see if this pulse will pulse animals. And pulse. It does not. Mostly just climbing stuff. Okay. Which is probably more helpful for, uh, you know, the explorer mode. Thanks. Gather that pale bloom, baby. Go, Ayla, go, Ayla, go. She's so talented. Verdant bloom. Make myself a, a rainbow display of color. I've seen better days. I've been the stars of many plays. Well, we're basically the best forever. Yay, Aloy, yay. I like these watchtowers. I wonder why they're like so out of commission. What happened to them? This far out, I wonder if the Karja just didn't have enough influence to keep them up and going anymore. Because I, I imagine with there being so many things about Osirum, I wonder if this is Osirum territory. Or once was Osirum territory. There's, there seem to be a fair few of them. I can grab this for my stash later. Some of those jumps still make my stomach like sink and clench. Here we are. 
Alright, I'm in a weird spot. Looks like there's another device up here. <laughs> that was weird. Alright. So this must be the one of of night or evening or dusk. Lens of morning. So there's one dawn, morning, and midday? Okay. Prove me wrong, game. Make me look a fool. I get it. I know what's up. I see how you is. I don't think I can get past them. Guess I should leave it for now. Must be somewhere I can get rid of this. It is a metal flower. But how? Yes, must be some way to get rid of the vines somehow. I recommend fire, but I do for most things, so let's do ice. Aha! Alright. I mean, it's worth a shot. Well, there's a metal flower up here, leading me to believe that I am correct with my assessment that there I will find a map leading me to things like metal flowers and other such collectibles. Stop fucking with the camera, Rory. You're gonna make people sick. Jiminy Christmas. Oh, it's one of them red blooms. Crimson bloom. Alright, let's make our way down to this new city. So it can be one of them city Aloy. Chain scrape. Baby, it's a town where chains will scrape on your face if you break the law. Chain scrape. Don't break the law, fuckwit. That's their motto. It's a robust yet concise motto. Don't break the law, fuckwit. Oh. That the savior? Yeah. Welcome in, savior? Yes. You kind of sound like you're being facetious, but okay. Welcome to Chainscrape, Savior. Thank you. Open up, guys. Jar of orders. Good enough for me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're gonna let you in anyway. By nice the forge. Oh, is this that Petra? one chick? Yeah, hey, Petra. Boy. What are you doing here? Uh, about time there was something worth looking at in this dump. It's nice to see you too. And not a moment too soon. Thank you. Come on. I. Oh, day drinking. Dan Come on, guys. The only thing I can count on in this place. Yeah, I heard. Machines, work stoppage. Oh, those are just the latest malfunctions. Chain scrapes always been a few tools short of a kit. And right there is the biggest tool of all. Our land, not our problem. The bristlebacks are everybody. Javad the Willing. You've heard of him. Yeah. But he's a story. Best told over a cold beer. How are you Petra, keeping it cold? Petra. I'm just passing through. I'm headed west. Oh. There's an embassy at, at Baron Light I need to make happen, and then I keep moving. Ah. Of course. Bigger gears to grind. She's so disappointed. Well, to be fair, I am too. To see you. You've got to move on. Petra. But if you want a cold beer and a few laughs with an old friend, come find me at the brewery. Your choice. I choose that. Aloy needs to stop walking away from so many friendships. Like she keeps bouncing on people. I don't like well, it. This old one guy sounds like trouble. Maybe Petra could use some support. But first things first, I need to find that workbench and upgrade my bow. Yeah, I do. You upgrade that bow, baby. What's that workbench? First off, sup tools and loot. Supply, ooh, chill water. Thank you, I do need that. All right, teach me some things. Nice. Okay. I like this. Ah, uh, OK. 
Okay. So, just need supplies up in that top right area. Yeah, yeah. Which I do have a fair amount of supplies. Upgrade complete. Acid acid hunter arrows. Thank you. Uh. Before I upgrade it more. Okay. Well, let's check out this uh, uh the blast sling. If the upgrade is gonna give us anything like super dope. Can upgrade it once. Weapon stats improved, but not a new thing. Okay. And what about my sweet Nora outfit? Yeah, I got the I got the supplies for it. Easy. So it's gonna increase my melee and impact resistances, which I had none. Jesus. And increase my acid resistance by a good uh, amount. And then my concentration regen and potent medicine will go up by one. Interesting. Let's check out skill details. Recover concentration faster. Cool. So this is just an outfit boost, not necessarily a weave boost. So I guess I could stack those if you wanted to. Medicine berries provide more healing and heal you faster. I dig that. Yeah, upgrade that. Noise. Okay, okay. Hey, I could level it up all the way. I'm gonna check to see if there's a merchant before I get any deeper into uh, into that. Definitely gonna craft some of these trappies, as I am a trafty, tra trappy person. Pouch upgrades. I need some raccoon hides. I need one more squirrel hide. My resource pouch can go up. Yes, please. Well, it's a good thing I got that squirrel bone, because my trap pouch can go up too. Yeah, boy. So resource pouch, let's bring that up. And then our bomb satchel. Cool. So vulture feathers, horned lizard skins. I imagine those are in a later area. Same with that, but raccoon hides and squirrels. We need to keep our eyes out for raccoons and squirrels. Those crafty folk. Oh, snap. Okay, dope. Yeah. Let's just build those up a little bit. I don't want to use all of my things thus far. This should be useful. Yeah, damn. Oh, no, okay, there's two side quests. Are you a merchant? Hello, Huckon. Shop looks closed. Yep. Can I still use the work? <laughs> yep. I ain't gonna stop you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate your candor. Uh, <laughs> I ain't gonna stop you. Jeez. You do you, boo. I imagine this is yeah. This is your stash. It can be found in every settlement as well as many other locations throughout the world. When you gather items beyond your carrying capacity, excess items will be sent to your stash. From here, you can retrieve the items individually or restock all your resources by holding square. By upgrading your pouches at the workbench, you can increase your carrying capacity. Thank you, and I have done so. You open my stash, restock all categories. Nice. I dig that. I dig that. So I guess you would be a merchant. Shop's closed, Red. You're welcome to use the workbench. So I guess I will upgrade the things that I have. Might as well. I mean, might as well. Upgrade, baby. Weapon stats improved. So I need... Oh, I can just do that one too. Nice. Yeah, let's just level you up all the way. Why not? Why not? Cool, I got an empty weapon coil slot now too. Dope. I like that. Can't fill you because I need bristleback stuff. My outfit. Might as well bring that up. Feels good. Might as well do the other one. Good thing I, I fought those fanghorns, am I right? Alright. I'm actually pretty well stacked now. Way better than I was before. I'm gonna hold off on those two. It's using up my muscles. A coil slot has been unlocked for one of your weapons. Coils can be equipped to weapons to improve their performance. Tap square when viewing the weapon in inventory to modify its coils. Thank you. 
let's just check that out. Okay, first off, I need to go through these. I'm sorry, everyone. I just don't like having that exclamation point. Ah. Same with the notebook. Petra, did I miss someone? Oh, it's probably Aaron when I go and see him. Pop, pop, pop. Cool. Nope, still something. Resources. Stash. Finding resources. Upgrading gear. Yes, I'm learning about this as it happens. You don't need to give me the rundown over here, notebook. All right, so we got a plus one concentration coil. I don't have any other coils for that, but I do have this coil in my inventory. Knockdown power plus 7% increases the ability to stagger and knock down enemies with impact or explosive damage. Uh, yes, please. I mean, seeing how I have nothing, I might as well do something with it. A weave slot has been unlocked for your things. Yes, just like the weapon slot. I imagine you're close too. Can't you see I'm trying to drink here? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to speak to you. I was trying to speak to this fine gentleman here. Hello, may I speak to you? No. Because your shit's closed. Unknown machine strike. Go on. Another unknown. I like unknown things. <laughs> you know, it's a real unorthodox way of me getting in there, but I'm in here now. Hello, potion man. Hi. Hey. Should I not be in here? <laughs> Did I get in here by mistake? My bad. Understandable. We're still smelting stuff. That's nice. I like the Osirum. They have a very peculiar, not peculiar, but very interesting aesthetic. Hello, person. Mildef. Hey, Mildef. Mildef. I took some of your stew last time I went into the wild. Kept me going for a week. Felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hole. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some more uh, impressive provisions here. <sighs> Not again. <laughs> you can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. Why? I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven didn't send you? No. no. Oh, my, my faces look really great. My goodness. His minions won't stop pestering me. <sighs> now I've even worn out my special grill. No. Since I'm in the midst of a crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted. Some of your food? Of course. You're a cook, dude. <laughs> I want food. Hey, what's up with this old one, dude? You problems? Oh, yeah. They constantly demand my best, but the equipment I need to make my signature dishes isn't built for batch cooking. And don't get me started on the Olven discount they feel so entitled to. And if you refuse? I make meals. No trouble. I mean, I'll make trouble you for you. I'm Eloy. Heard about you upcoming town at the edge of the frontier. Where there's a town, there's a tavern. I was in need of work. So I got myself out here and started cooking. Some of these people had never tasted proper boars and berries stew before. Anyway, next thing I knew, people kept coming back. Guess they like my food. Or the ale. Oh. Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. I'm a pleasant but, person. But my special groove griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? I'll try my best. Need? For the ingredients, a few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in the scrounger pile if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way. Assuming you're as much a hunter-gatherer as your clothing suggests. I Thanks, am. Mildef. I'll keep an eye out. 
So that's what gratitude sounds like. <laughs> don't let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. A dash of courage. No. Alright, so I got, I got all the things except for the metal thing. <laughs> I was gonna say, I probably have most of it. What's going on in here? My eyebrows! Javad, please help. The product in question maimed me. I filled out the required form below and I still have yet to get a refund from Della and Boomer. I beg you, give me justice. Complaint. Jordert, Jordert, Guardsman. Product description, Bang Buster. I think Boom Buster? Does it matter? I bought it three days ago. I know you remember me. Indecent incident description. Again, I just told you I was demonstrating this scorched out hammer to my fellow guardsmen by slamming it on a piece of rock. Instead of booming the rock, it boomed towards me. And now I don't have any eyebrows. Am I surprised? Am I sad? <laughs> Nobody can tell since I no longer have eyebrows. So in case you weren't aware, let me tell you, I'm very unhappy. I want my shards back. Refund denied. Customer was made fully aware of the prototype's volatility at time of purchase. Proceeded with purchase regardless, proclaiming, I'm not a baby. <laughs> they seem to be having a grand old time. Let's save at this old fiery do. What is with the unknown machine strike? Is that actually in here? Or... Yes. Aloy, change your hey, mind Ray. about that brew. Uh, strike. Yes, but I'll be with you in a moment. Where are you? <laughs> Oh, you're right here. Okay. I'll come back to you. Machine strike. Revel in some strike, sister? Let me set the board. I Your smile is passing by. Scary. Mm, first timer, huh? Don't worry about it. I'll go easy on you. You got any pieces? Uh no. Well, aren't you in luck then? I got an extra set. A Tanakh original straight out of the Forbidden West. Sit! Sit, sit, sit. I'll run you through it in a hot spark. All right. Something special if you win it on my boards, too. All right. I do. Playing games inside of games is one of my specialties. Just saying. Beginner's tutorial. Yes, please. Get a beginner set as well. All right. Okay. Start challenge. Yeah. All right. Let's start off simple. The Tanakh like to say that Machine Strike is a game of pure strategy. All right. We each get a set of pieces. Each piece represents a kind of machine, and each machine is worth a different number of victory points. And to win the game, you'll need to gain seven victory points by destroying the opponent's machines. Sounds about right. It can be tricky remembering the details of every machine, so we use these notes to keep track of them. You see that number on the top right corner? One victory point. That there is how many victory points you'll get for destroying that machine. Notes also tell you how far a piece can move. Okay. How powerful their attacks are. The distance they can strike from. From one away, melee, okay. And of course, their, their health. health. Okay, that's enough for now. Let's just play. I'll explain the rest as we go. I own, own the board, so I get to choose who goes first. Okay. Since this is your first time, I'll let you go. Usually you get to choose which pieces to set on the board, but this will do for now. Pick up that machine piece to your right mm -hmm, and move it forward. And remember, each machine can only move a certain distance. Take a look at your notes if you need a yeah. reminder. Yeah. Oh, I know. You want me to move two, which means I can't attack you, which means on your turn, you're going to move two and attack me. Easy enough, huh? Now, you get to move two machines each round. 
So okay. go ahead and pick a second machine. You're setting me up for failure. And I don't appreciate it. Perfect. There's not much else to do for now, so just end your turn. Or I could overcharge. Best end your turn so we can keep going. Ooh. Girl. Mm. We're forging onwards. Let me move my pieces here. Okay. And we're back to you. This time, why don't you try attacking one of my pieces? Gotcha. Try with that machine on your right first. If I attack your butt. Now move the piece close enough to attack. When performing an attack, you'll be testing your machine's combat power against the opponent's. A machine's combat power is a combination of the terrain your machine is standing on and its own attack power. This board only has grassland terrain, which has no effect on a machine's combat power. Okay. And I like your this. current machine has two points of attack power. So in total, your machine's combat power equals two points. Since my machine isn't the one attacking, it has zero points of attack power. Gotcha, okay. And just like your machine, it's not affected by grassland terrain. So right now, this means your machine can do two points of damage. Did you get all that? I did, yeah. So I imagine there's an attacking from behind someone. Knew you were a smart one. Finish up by attacking my machine. Not pulling any punches, huh? Now I'm grab not. that second machine of yours. See how your machine can't move close enough to attack mine? You can make your machine sprint. That lets it move one space further. Try it out. What happens if I sprint? Downside to sprinting is that your machine can no longer attack. Gotcha. Now Sacrificing my like attack for move more movement. Overcharge their machine in cases like this. Overcharging lets you attack after a sprint, but it will damage your machine's health by two points. So use at your own discretion. Let's try doing that now so you can see what I mean. That's about it for your turn. Now, now I'll let you in on a neat trick. That machine of yours, the one closest to me, grab a hold of it. Same as in the wilds, machines have both armored points and weak points. Gotcha, okay. You can see them marked on the pieces. Blue shows where their armor is thickest. Hit him there that weak and point. you'll do some damage. Hit him in the butt. Not a lot. Now, red shows the machine's weak points. Hit those and you'll deal a mighty blow. Here, let me show you. Rotate that piece so your machine faces mine. Now let that machine have it. Boom. Off the board she goes and there's your first victory points. You don't have seven of them yet, so let's keep going. Your machine attacked mine, but hasn't moved yet. Go ahead and move downwards towards my remaining piece. You've already attacked a machine and moved your piece. But if you overcharge your machine, you can attack a second time. And by the look of your machine's health, you'd be sacrificing your piece to defeat Don't want to do it. But sometimes that can be a good thing. Overcharge your machine to attack mine a second time, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay. Ain't that a thrill? It now, was. Because your machine was knocked out at the same time as mine, we both get the victory points our machines are worth. Good news is, since you're the one attacking, you're going to receive your victory points before I do. Okay. Which means you can reach the coveted seven victory points first. So if we're both at six That's and I do that, I get mine first and win. Can be the best way to end a game in your favor. Now, you'll notice you didn't get quite up to seven victory points this time, but you did destroy all my pieces. That means you're the winner. I'm the wiener. That wasn't so hard, was it? No, it's fine. Just remember to always check for the best terrain to attack from. You'd be surprised the advantage you can gain over an opponent like that. You want the high ground. I know it saved my behind in a game or two. I'll try and remember that. Oh, before I forget. These are all my spare pieces. I want the savior of Meridian to have. I'm going to play this it's so much it's not even funny. It should be enough to get you in on any strike games you find out there. I played Warhammer, I played War Machine. I played tactical, you know, strategy games. Like, this is up my alley. 
they'll need the right materials to craft you one. Or you might find them in the wilds if you're lucky. I know I've lost my fair share of pieces after a night of machine hunting or brew hopping. Oh, no need to thank me. Always a pleasure to help out new strike players. I'm going to demolish you. I want you to know that. Now, if you feel like playing a real game, I've got plenty of other boards. I could even teach you a few more tricks if you're up for it. Thanks. I'll think about it. Oh, there's going to be no thinking we're going to play. How dare you? Now, the thing is, is that this will likely eat up a lot of time. I mean, I'm okay with that. It's whether or not you're okay with that. <laughs> So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing these. I'll probably uh, ah, in the comments you can I'd let me know if if you're down to watch me play these, or I can skip me playing these and, and show you like some of the things that happens damage. when it happens. This one's got all the different terrains you can encounter in a game of strike. Knowing when and how to use them can mean the difference between victory and defeat. Dope. Terrain mainly affects your machine's combat power, as you know. When fighting an opponent's machine, you compare its areas with power negative to value and positive values. The higher your machine's combat power, the more damage you can do. Word. So finding the right terrain is an essential strategy for overpowering your opponent. Here, I'll show you. Grab that piece to your left and move to it. Now let's take a look at your machine's combat power. Combat power is the sum of a machine's attack power and the value of the terrain. Since your machine is attacking, it's using its two points of attack but power. Since I'm elevated one it's elevation above it, I'll be doing more damage. With a value of one point. Yeah. Add those together, and your machine has three points of combat power. My machine is standing on grassland terrain with a value of zero points. It's also not attacking, which means they're attack. So my combat power is zero. This means you go ahead and test it out. Can do. Eat it, nerd. Now, choosing the right terrain doesn't just improve your offense. It can also help defend your machines from attack. Grab your other piece and place it in front of my second machine. Since it's standing on grassland terrain, this terrain has a value of zero. This means your machine's combat power adds up to two points. My machine can't use their attack power since they're defending their position. But they have the higher ground. They're standing on forest terrain, which is worth one point. This means my combat power adds up to one point. Gotcha. Now, the front I'm hitting you from the front where your shield is, so that's another one. This means that the spot you're about to attack, which means my machine gets an extra point. If we compare the combat power, of, you'll see that you won't be able to do it. Whenever you're unable to top an opponent's combat power, you can still choose to attack and break their machine's defenses instead. Okay. Go ahead, try it out and see what happens. Ha, see? When you break a machine's defenses, you can knock it backwards. Sure, both our machines will receive one point of damage, but knocking my machine off that terrain makes it more vulnerable to attacks. Not only that, if my machine had been blocked from moving backwards, it would have received an extra point of damage. Ah, so there's nothing behind it. And if cool. my machine had been blocked by another one of my pieces, that machine would have received damage as well. Dope. That's why breaking the machine's strategy. defenses is a great way to deal damage to several pieces at once. Useful, right? Yes. Okay, now go ahead and end your turn. All right, as we've seen, the higher the terrain, the more it'll add to your machine's combat power. However, there are two other terrains that work a little differently. This is what we call a chasm. Only flying machines can be placed on those. Huh. But it'll take away two combat points if you do, so be wary. This is marsh terrain. Landing on it will take away one combat power point from most machines. It'll also keep your machine from moving for the rest of the turn. Interesting. Here, let me show you. Grab that machine on your left. See? All you can do now is wait for your next turn to move again. Okay. Or you can overcharge your machine to get out of there. You can still attack any nearby enemies so you're not completely helpless. Well, I think that's enough yammering for me for now. Promise it'll all come in handy next Doing it. I'm mastering things. 
here for more tips? Yes. Why don't I tell you a bit more about the pieces we used to play? Okay. In a normal game, you get to choose which machines you place on the board. Each one is worth a certain number of setup, setup points. points. Okay. And you can Value. spend up to 10 assembling your army. Gotcha. Knowing what each machine brings to the game and building an army that matches your strategy is the key to becoming a machine strike master. When assembling your army, there are a few things to keep in mind. First and foremost, you can, with that in mind, most players will choose machines based on how far they can move or how much attack, but a real strike player will be looking at a machine's type and skills. Let's take a quick look, shall we? Pick up that machine. All right, let's talk about the different ways in which a machine att In other words, it's machine type. If you look at your notes, you'll see this machine. You can also tell by the shape of the base the piece stands on. A melee type machine attacks the first enemy within range and no one else. We've seen this plenty of times, so. Bang. Great, now grab your other machine. Grab. Like we've got ourselves a gunner type machine here. Scrapper. This means they'll only hit the farthest enemy in their attack range. Let's move that machine forward and end your turn so we can take a look at the rest of the pieces. Let's go with this piece first. This is a ram type machine. Attack okay. an enemy with it and it'll push the piece backwards. Like this. See, now my machine has taken over your machine spot on the board. All right, all right. This is a great way to take the advantage away from your opponent if they have the higher ground. Looks like we have one more piece to look at. A dash now, type. Now this is a beauty of a piece. A dash type machine. When it attacks, it'll move to the end of its attack range and damage every machine in its path, including your own. So oh, make sure shit. you take a good look at the board before you send it off to the races. All right, dope. You should also make sure it's able to finish its attack on an empty spot. Otherwise, you won't be able to attack at all. Here, I'll show you. Look, it even rotated your piece a nifty little piece you'll definitely want in your set. That's nice, okay. If you look at your notes, you'll notice this particular machine has one of the skills I mentioned before. Yeah, the gallop. There's quite a few of those, and we haven't even looked at all the machine types yet. Okay. But I'm pretty sure you've got more important things. It's got all the tips and tricks. I think that about does it for now, so if you want to play... Oh, I want to play a real game. I'm about to murder you. I just want to let you know that. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, do that, Dumbo. <laughs> Who is this person? Your move, Red. Eat it, nerd. Eat it, nerd. You got me down to one piece. I am impressed. Yeah, as well you should be. Yeah, where are you going? Huh? What do you got? What do you got going on? You're up, Red. Overcharge. Hooah! I guess I shouldn't have left that weak spot open, huh? No, you shouldn't have. You're such a fool. Uh, <laughs> looks like I lost. <laughs> yeah, you did. It's because I'm the superior of your mind. You are a fool. Jesus. <laughs> 75 shards. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. It's beginner medium. Good Why not? Luck. I mean, I still want to take advantage of this high terrain over here. I see you do as well. The board's all yours. Oh. Oh, you don't say. Oh, I can only move two pieces. Fuck, I forgot. Time to get serious. Uh, 
Why That's did you open me. yourself like up like that to me? Hmm, what's a boy to do? Whoa! Got me good. Yes, I did. It's because I'm the best forever. I can sprint and start murking ya. I'm gonna do that. Well, that's done now. I may have set my up for, set myself up for failure in that one. Ay, Chihuahua, that's a big hit. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. So you're like, you know, using these skills well. That's interesting. I probably should have done that. Turn. Okay, okay. Not sure if I should do that or not. I screwed myself over. Oh, my hubris. Alright, okay, okay. Alright. I see you. Board's all yours. Board's all mine indeed. Looks like you're down to one piece. Come for me, you fools. That's an interesting choice. <laughs> One less piece on the board. Now that was a game. Even if I, I lost. Whew, I came back from that one. My goodness. <laughs> I thought I was totally doomed. All right, let's do this. this I really like this. Is gonna be fun. It should be. Yeah. Dang, that was some distance and speed. Sure, You're why not? Red. Armor is a machine's best defense. Stay there. I know I shouldn't overcharge, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. Knocked right off the board. Cause last time I overcharged too quickly, it was bad. It's bad news bears on Rory. All right. See what you're doing, sort of. Are you overcharging? Oh, you little monkey. You wee willy winky. I am going to demolish you, so... Suck it, nerd. Well, that's done now. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh man, you're gonna hit me from the side. I uh, should have thought about that. Or you can hit me from up there, that's fine too. I'm all about it. That's that's where it is. Okay. Alright. Oh, you overcharged, you huss. Eat it. Off the board it goes. No, it's only gonna do one. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. You're my sacrificing pawn. You're going to die, and I'm sorry. There it is. Yeah. There. Yeah. There we go. One less piece on the board. You're up, Red. Eat it. Time to make my move. By the virtue of having more pieces, I feel like I'm in a better position. <laughs> One less piece on the board. Oh, I feel less of this now. That's the game. What? You what are you doing? What? What? Huh? What? Huh? Huh? What? How do? How did you do that? Oh man. Okay. Oh man, I wasn't really paying much attention to victory points either. Now that I was thinking about it. I yeah. Uh, I might cut out that one for everyone. Now we don't see me as foolish. Right, let's try that again. I might edit a few of these games let's that way. Uh, you guys aren't too entirely bored of me playing this weird game. Time to get serious. Oh, you're just gonna come right at me. Okay. Board's all yours. Goes. You're up, Red. What are you, Mr. Lancehorn? When attacking from a hill terrain, gain plus one combat power. Well, that explains it. Hey, I like that piece where it was. Knocked right off the board. Well, that's done now. Your turn. Victory to Rory! Didn't get me that time, little lady. Yeah, let's do regular challenge. Rewards! 100 metal shards. Special rewards! Defeat all the opponent's boards to earn this reward. I'm currently doing that. 0-3 beginner players defeated. Defeat all three beginning strike players to earn this reward. Well, let's do it. Oh shit, I get to add my own pieces. Dang. Okay. Ten 
points. Okay. Hill terrain, mountain terrain, grasslands. Yeah. Now I'm going to take one of these away. Might as well. Yeah, let's do it. Start challenge. Let's do this. An actual game, Bristleback. Yeah, what up with your Bristleback girl? Yeah, ain't no Bristleback girl. <laughs> so stupid. Let's get my scrapper out there too. My burrow is like my my pawn, my bitch piece. I can see how uh, she's staggering her pieces right now. That way you don't run into any kind of uh, deficit when it comes to someone pushing your pieces into other pieces. I don't have anything that can move that far fast. I mean, I could if I wanted to, if I truly wanted to. I would have to overcharge and go crazy. Your turn. All right, what's the deal with the bristleback? Spray, at the start of each turn, all pieces within attack range lose one health. Okay, I kinda wanna take you out. Got the scrounger up here, but I have my mountain one, so like, why wouldn't I attack you from up here? Get down, nerd. I was hoping you wouldn't do that. But I did. Ha ha ha. You had to set it up just right, didn't you? Didn't you? I'm gonna take a damage either way, so is it worth it to get inside there? Perhaps not. Would it be worth it just to kill the scrounger, I suppose, then? I sprint and take damage. Oh shit. And now I kind of have to do it. <laughs> I set myself up for failure on that one. Oh no. Ow. Ow. Wow, that bristleback's got some beef. So, I'm not doing great. <laughs> oh, did you overcharge? You fucking jerk face. You're up, Red. Die, please. Thank you. Knocked right off the board. I have so much power from up here. It's really hard to set up the scrappers correctly. Oh, way to overcharge for that kill. Dang. I need to start using overcharge better. For reals. Oh, you hit that weak spot all right. Those grasslands with higher power. Oh, seriously? Seriously, bro. I'm not doing too swell. Time to make my move. Ah, I'm down in victory points hardcore. Shit, Guess did you just win? On your side today, Red. All right, all right. Let's play. I need to use the overcharge better. That's all it is. One eternity later. Now that deserves a prize, I say. I did it. I'm the best forever. <laughs> I always knew I can do it. Well then. I'll see you later, Aloy. That was wonderful. I'm glad I heartily dismantled your face. Hi, Petra.
Come Let's talk. For that beer after all, eh? Yeah. Here. Let's drink. Down. After you watch me play like in her hand. <laughs> Horizon Wasn't Chess. Expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? Ha! There's that spark. Fire and spit. I do believe Petra's gonna try and get me drunk so she spit. can take advantage of me. That's a blast from the bellows. We'll fix the forge. I like but your puns. I can forget about my troubles for a while. Cultural puns are best puns. Take your pick. We got bodies to bury from the bristlebacks, the work stoppage, Olvin grading the gears about his concession decree. Hey! Weapons off the table! Are you born in a barn? Ah, don't listen to me. Nothing a cold brew and knocking some heads together can't fix eventually. So the bristlebacks in the daunt. Bro. Try to talk here. Where did they come from? That's the thing. No one rightly knows. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. <sighs> Lost some good people. But Lame. I heard talk of some vanguards trying to take them down. Did they come through here? Stop by briefly for supplies. Olvind was none too pleased. Fuck Olvind. Won't be able to crank it to his advantage once the bristlebacks are gone. But how could bristlebacks and the daunt help Olvind? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the bristlebacks came from, Olvind has taken to blaming the Karja for him. Stupid. He's hoping to dig up enough old Olvind. resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. And people actually believe him? Lots of folks suffered at the hands of the Mad King during the Red Raids. Give him half a reason, they'll blame the Karja for anything. Facts. Ah, damn Karja slavers. I thought you'd be back in Freeheap. Well, after the big battle at Meridian, I went back. But realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. Been scraping by ever since. You could always leave. And go back east? Nah. I ain't one to leave a lit forge. Besides, someone's gotta be a squeaky wheel for the workers around here. Really great talking animations, so too. They're very Olvind. animated and around it feels here, natural. Everything's about Olvind. How'd he end up in charge? He got here early, like a squirrel smelling a fat nut. He knew rebuilding barren light would need stone and timber. So, he jangled purses all over Mainspring, getting investors to front claims on anything in the Daunt that might be worth a damn. Thing is, all the bankers back home know that this is Karja land, and the Sun King can revoke those claims at any time. That's why he's desperate for the Magistrate to sign off on a concession decree. This concession decree, what is it exactly? And how would it help Olvind? It's pig diddle, that's why. A writ that would put all Osram claims in the Daunt under Osram law, even though they're on Karja land. It would mean that any existing ore, stone, and timber claims couldn't be revoked by the Karja. Well, the Karja's no not more risk, take that. no more hesitation for investors back in the claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olvind has a stake in all those claims, it would make him richer than a scrapper in a junk heap. Not to mention Chainscrape would become an Osram municipality. So he could buy enough votes to call himself an elder man. He's a sly old badger. I'll give him that. Figures if he keeps up the pressure, eventually the magistrate will sign. Huh. Well, I, uh, I have to be going. Thanks for the drink, Petra. I'm glad I stopped by. Anytime, flame hair. She wants me, but you know, who wouldn't? Who wouldn't want the Aloy? The greatest of all Aloys. Save my pretty little booty. Stop that bad boy right here. My goodness. Are you having a great time? I'm having a great time. I'm playing future, not future chess <laughs> with battle pieces. What's not to enjoy? Seriously. But the adventure will continue. And I hope you're there when it does.
My goodness, what an adventure we've been on so far. If you're feeling generous, you can pop on down to my Patreon and subscribe over there. That's patreon.com backslash Rory's Brainworks. They are my rope and video game vanguard, my colonizers of dreams. And without them, all the ropey and video game endeavors that I do would be <laughs> way harder to accomplish. Thank you for spending your time with me. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and follow my other social medias for updates. As always, I'm Rory, this is my Gameworks, and I'll see you next time.